Greetings, Twitch fans! Welcome! My name is The Loophole King, also known as Rick, and coming to you live from the Blue Cheese Room on the Dark Side of the Moon, this is The Loophole King Twitter, Twitch channel. Alright, everybody's here, and we are going to get started here momentarily. First of all, housekeeping. First of all, thank you for showing up. I appreciate it. Uh, Combo Court appreciate it. And we're going to go ahead and get ready to do this opening. But first, uh, Comic Book World at comicbookworld.com. You can check out the link below down there. And say thank you to Mark and the gang for letting us take care of this stuff uh, on this weekend. Uh, number two, if you would be so kind as to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, We'd appreciate that. Uh, if you'd like to donate directly, you can use the tip jar or you can join us at Patreon at patreon.com slash the loophole king. Uh, we appreciate that very much. Um, also, you'll notice there's a nice, there is a, uh, a, a nice uh, donation down at the bottom that uh, um, for uh, extra life. I don't know how many of you know who Extra Life is. They are a charity that donates to um, children's hospitals in the United States, and this one will be going to uh, Children's Hospital over in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, they do a great job. A couple of my kids were there. A couple of my friends' children have been there. Um, they're great people, and we're trying to raise $1,000 for them. So any little bit helps, and we appreciate it. All right. So we're going to get started. Um, we are going to be opening our Icoria pre-release packs, and then we're going to be opening some booster packs. Now, we had scheduled, we have, we were going to do a booster box opening, however, um, because of the coronavirus pandemic disaster of 2020, um, some of the distributors have not been forthcoming and Wizards did not ship a lot of product. So, those of you who have already pre-ordered your Ikoria, you were, you should get them. They should be in already. If you have not pre-ordered your Ikoria, there may be a second print run. Wizards is not forthcoming with that kind of information. So, that being said, we uh, have to make do with uh, the uh, pre-release kits. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and give me one minute while I rearrange the camera real quick so you guys can view down here and um, we'll go through them all. All right, give us one sec. All right. Yeah. Yeah, give us a little time here. It's a little harder than it should be. Um, so, we're going to get started on this. The buy box promo Godzilla was great. Oh, yeah, those are those are awesome. I I think those are some of the better buy box promos. Um, you know, uh, I wish we could have done the pre-release. Um around here. Um, unfortunately, you know, that's how things go. So, those of you who don't know, this is a pre-release kit. Uh, this is going to be the same pre-release kit you would have gotten to play pre-release. We still have these available at Comic Book World. Um, you can call the shop or you can go to the link below. So, I will give my regular judge spiel. Welcome to the pre-release. Uh, inside your box you should find one random spin down die. Yay, we found our spin down die. With the uh, cool little item on it. The cool little eyeball for my on it. Uh, we have a uh, one 
two, three, four, five, and six packs of Icorian. Uh, we have the cool little card that comes with it. We have uh, tokens. These are cool. I love these things. If you haven't seen them yet, these are great. Get a better look right there. Uh, it says flying, indestructible, death touch, vigilance. On this side, double strike, first strike, hexproof, life link, double strike, and trample. So that's how you mark your creatures. Also, these codes. I will be posting these codes later. Um, it's first come, first serve on these codes. So, you know, we'll see where that we'll see where that goes. And our instruction booklet on how to build a pre-release deck because you know none of us know how to do that. So that being said, our first promo card is well, par for the course. <laughs> uh, the pre-release kits, I believe, are still $24.99, I believe. Um, like I said, check the link below or call the shop to just, just be on the safe side. I don't have the correct answer for that. And this is the Mythos of Snapdax. Uh, it's shiny and foily. Those of you can see it, I'm trying to figure out what that is. It's shiny and foily. Um, not a big fan of this card. This is basically a functional reprint of Tragic Arrogance. Um, only it's slightly harder to cast. Um, there is an upside that if you are playing Mardu, then it will actually uh, come in handy. Uh, if you notice, they still have the same problem with the packaging where they can't quite get it to not bend. Uh, our first pack has the cool little ferret monkey thing. Uh, so I'm going to ask Chet, you want me to slow roll these or would you like me to just skip through all these uh, other cards? Uh, you want to see, you want to see all of them? Um, yes, I know that the the uh, camera's a little far away, but that's the only way we can see this. So I can read the cards off. Most of us have seen these on already. Uh, we have a Lava Serpent. We have a Man Serval with Vigilance. Glimmer Bell. Ram Through. Serrated Scorpion. Pacifism. Blister Spit Gremlin. Facet Reader. Night Squad Commando. <laughs> Flycatcher. Pouncing Shark. Oh... All right, we'll skip the commons then, huh? Go straight to our uh, uncommons, which is Jubilant Sky Dancer. Uh, the cool art for the auspicious Stardix. Love that art. As cool as hell. Um, and our rare, our token is a Human Soldier. We got a Basic Island. And we got Nathroy, Apex of Death. A 5-5 five, five Legendary Cat Nightmare Beast. Mutates for four hybrid Selesnia, black, black. Death Touch Lifelink, when this creature mutates, return any number of target creature cards with total power 10 or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. That is a badass card. Um, played with it on Arena. It does what it's supposed to do. I'm going to set this cool card over here to the side and set these uncommons over here as well. Start getting us a little box here going. All right, here's our next pack. We will skip the commons and go straight to the uncommons. So, I'll hand this to my helper monkey right here. Everybody say hi, Spencer. Uh, we got a dino token. Alright. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff going on here. So, these commons. Uh, we got another pouncing shore shark. Uh, I don't know which art they're calling this. Uh, however, I want all of my magic cards to be made like this before. From now on, I want all the art and magic to look like this. So if you're out there and you're paying attention, Wizards of the Coast, please make sure it's all that. I want all the art to look like this from now on. 
This is awesome. Uh, we got a channeled force and the Zagoth Trihome. Yay, Trihomes. Yeah, is it Greg Steve or Steve Steve? Is it Steve Greg or Greg Greg? It's Greg Steve. All right. So that's another one. Uh, and then we got a Foil Sanctuary Smasher, which, by the way, is also a pretty good card. Um, a 6 4 for 6, cycles for 3, has first strike, and you put a first strike counter on some. And we got a Blossoming Sands. Yay! Because, you know, we don't need more of this. So far, this is looking like a pretty good Abzan slash. Looks like a pretty good Abzan deck. Um, you know. Evolving Wilds in the comments. That's another thing I really enjoy. I like the the um, Evolving Wilds being in a common slot instead of a land slot. Um, those are so much better now uh, because you don't get you don't get screwed out of a bat out of a land slot for you know that you can just take it. And get down here to ah here we go. Void Beckoner, Death Touch Cycling. Put a Death Touch. Momentum Rumbler. Also a great card. Uh, if it doesn't have first strike, put a first strike counter on it. If it does, if it does have first strike, give it double strike. Then we got another Necro Panther, which is a great card. Um, our foil is a memory leak, which meh. Uh, we got a forest and a hey. Don't forget, no table required to play arena. Uh, we got a fort. And we got the Fromlin Felidar. 3-5 uh, Cat Beast with Vigilance. Creatures you control with Vigilance have a activated ability of pay one generic, ma one colorless mana, tap, tap target creature. So, still in the Abzan. Um, we have, I mean, the Trihome is not on color exactly, but it's green-black. So, we can use it. And... Lands. These. Human Soldier Token. A Rugged Highlands, which is meh. Um, I'm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh,. The, uh, uh, I will talk about a couple cards or a couple comments when they come up. Um, I'm glad that they reprinted Dark Bargain. Um, Black needed a better uh, card draw than it has in the past couple editions. Um, oh, we got a couple of good ones in here. All right. So, uh, we got Charge of the Forever Beast. Uh, Two and a green, as additional cost to cast a spell, reveal a creature card from your hand. Charge of the Forever Beast deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the revealed card's power. My guy fights your guy, but my guy stays in my hand and can't be hurt. It's a sorcery, because if this was an instant, it would be a mythic. We can all agree on that, right? Still seems a little broken, but okay. It's Yeah, you're right. It is a little broken. Um... Sanctuary Lockdown, not a big fan. Um, it's really hard um, to use. It's two and white. Humans you control get plus one, plus one. Yeah. And pay two colorless, tap two untapped humans, tap target creature and opponent controls. It's a lot harder than this Feldar. Because this you just have to have creatures with Vigilance, which you can give them in a green wine deck. And this, you have to have a whole bunch of humans, which humans aren't really great right now. I mean, even with the bonuses. We got another Auspicious Starix. Love this card. Um, we had it in the other one. This is the one that uh, if whenever it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards. Rex is number of times as creatures mutated. Put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. If you want to see how goofy this is, you can watch one of my past streams. I think it's... Uh, um, not this last one, but the one before that. Um, me and Miss M do a draft, and we mutated the same creature like five times and put like 12 permanents into play in a single turn. It was dumb. Just 
that, that card can get out of hand really fast. And then we get another try home. This time we get the Abzan one. So it looks like this deck is going to be full on Abzan. Uh, and we can splash blue if we want to. Uh, let's see here, we can get a, oh, more of the Menace, more of the ones that come with the Menace cards and stuff like that. Uh, got a Swamp, that. Um, go for Blood. I like that Red has a fight card with Cycling in it now. Um, I'm a big fan of that. Um, I, mean, I think they could have done it to a better person. Uh, Monstrous Step is an uncommon. I think this card is useless. Completely useless. It's too high costed and does nothing. Creature gets 7-7 seven, seven, and one creature has to block it for 5 mana. If I'm spending 5 mana, I want to do something more important than this. Uh, we did get a crystal, the Zagoth crystal, which is, uh, I like these. I like the fact they have cycling, and I like the fact they don't come into play tapped. Great mana rocks, tri rocks, and they have cycling, and this one is the one for Sultai. Uh, Boon of the Gift Giver. Not sure what I feel about this card. Um, six mana for draw four is fine, I guess. Oh, I don't recall that one off the top of my head right now. All right. Um, I don't know. How do you feel about six mana for four cards? Yeah, it's strictly a cycle card. Yeah. But do you put it in your deck just to cycle it, though? I mean, I guess it's a limited all-star, but... Hey, Bearcat Josh. Glad for you to show up. Like, don't forget, if you want to participate in tonight's uh, giveaway, you must follow the channel and put CBW520 into the chat. Got to make sure we do that. Uh, oh, we got two rares. Our regular rare is Dranith Magistrate, which is basically another two-drop hate bear. Uh, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. I see this as a great sideboard card in modern because I'm pretty sure that in blue white or in red white hate bears, uh, this is totally a sideboard card against um, storm because I don't think that they can storm off very well if they're not using their graveyard. Plus, it gives you a one three beater. I think that's a great card. Plus, we're still on the whole Absan trail and. Fall Try Home! Yay! Check it out. Fall Try Home. Uh, this is the Jeskai Try Home. So now we got a, we got three Try Homes in six packs. Not bad. Last pack. What do we got going on here? Uh, Migratory Greyhorn. Like that card? I think that card's going to be an all-star for a long time to come. Um, it's just an easy card to do with something with. Um, we got another Jubilant Skybonder. Um, seems like a limited card to me. That's fine, Mark. Everything's cool. Nobody's in a rush. Uh, flying creature control of flying. Have spells your opponents can cast that target this creature. Costs two more to cast. For one in Azorius Hybrid Hybrid uh, for a 2-2 two -two flyer. So three mana for a 2-2 two -two flyer, not that bad. Um, we got another Zagoth Crystal. So we're definitely going to be able to splash blue. It is the Soul Time one again. We got an Archipelagore. Um, this one's fine. Ah, it's a limited card. It's not going to see constructed play, I don't think, unless you're a commander player. Um, we got us a Windscarred Crag which we don't really need, but fits the bill, a human soldier, and a piece of resistance. Another Indata Trihome, but this time it's with the alternate art for the Absan. 
So here's the two of them side by side. Yeah, that art, like I want all my art to be this one. I want all my art to look like this. Like these three cards, this is what I want magic cards to look like from now on. Right? Hey, Andrew. Yeah, this, this is what I want the rest of my magic cards to look like from now until the end of time. Can we all just agree on that? Because that's what I'm going to do. So, let's put these over here. Let me put, put these rares up. Um, I might be giving these away later. You know, there's hope for that, Josh. I really do. I do believe that there's going to be hope for that. All right, we got that one. That that's our that's our first one. I think that honestly, um, I could build a good Abzan deck out of this. I, I, um, um, I've been thinking about it. I might actually uh, try to deck build after we're done here. I might try to deck build with these packs that we open, and then uh, go on Arena and build the deck. And see how well it does. Um, if you guys are into that, uh, let me know in the comments. You know, let me check those out. All right. Box number two. Not a bad box, considering. So, how has everybody been doing out there in... Uh, the land of the lost, as it were. Oh, we got the green spin down die. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six packs of Ikoria, which is good for us. Another one of these that I'll keep for myself. Um, another code that we will probably give away. Uh, more of these counters that we will probably have at Common Book World for the rest of our time. Yeah, right. I don't believe you. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So, I think... Hmm? Why did you keep that box and throw this one away? I don't know. Have it? Whatever I'm... Yeah. Well, I mean, at least you're getting paid, right? Um, so, I think it's uh, Day of the Trihomes. Because uh, here's a foil stamped trihome, which is the Mardu trihome. So that's a good omen. Again, the other problem is if you weren't here before to see the other one, they still have that bendy problem with putting them in the sleeves and making them foil. I don't know what they're ever going to do. I, I don't know. It's 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 annoying at this point, right? Yeah, isn't everybody missing paper magic? Like part of the fun. Is sitting across from your opponent and watching the look on their face when you just go off, right? Like you you miss that playing arena. You don't get to see the the uh, feel bad look on your opponent's face when you you know beat the crap out of them. Yeah, when you flunge sideways for sixty four, you know that kind of stuff. That's just not nice. It's not nice, but it is. Yeah. All right, so let's check out. Let's see what this one does. Uh, um, uh, put these in a different stack here. No, well, first of all, hold on a second. Let me put these cards in the box that they came in. Because that would be the smart thing to do to keep all these from getting... Confused, huh? Probably a good idea. It's rigged. Yeah, probably. Uh, so we have another one of these. Uh, like I said, I'm probably going to start a big bucket of those. We got a Dreamtail Heron. Um, limited All Star. Mutate for four. Whenever this creature mutates, draw a card. Good card. Keen Sight Mentor. The Mentors are awesome. 
Uh, this is the white mentor, two and two and a white for a one four. When you use battlefield, put a vigilance counter on a creature, on a non human creature. So all these mentors are humans, and they put counters of a various type onto a non human. So the white one gives you vigilance, and you can pay um, a cost, tap it, and put a counter on everybody that has that um, keyword. So white is vigilance. And blue is flying for one three for three. And uh, pay three for the flying counter. And then put one one counter on all your flyers. Um, this next card is kind of weird. Um, it's good if you want to play that archetype. Otherwise, it's garbage, utter garbage. Uh, Parky Parrot. Uh, it's four, uh, three in a red for a three four bird beast. Uh, it mutates for three and has the ability to tap this creature deals X damage to any target where X is number of times this creature is mutated. Now, paying four for a one mana ping for a one pinger, not great. But if you you draw this and put this on something that's been mutated like four times, you tap it and deal damage. Um, I think that's pretty good. Um, we got a blood fell caves, so still sticking with the Marty plan. Um, however, uh, our rare is. Genesis Ultimatum for your teamer players out there. Everybody take a look. Genesis Ultimatum for green, green, blue, 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 red, red. For a sorcery, look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Exile Genesis Ultimatum. No human eyes have ever witnessed the birth of an apex monster. Ah, so what do you think about this one? Uh, seven mana, two, two red, two green, triple blue, for pick five cards off the top of your library, put all the permanents. <clears throat> Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield, put the rest into your hand, then exile Genesis Ultimatum. It's basically like a mini Genesis wave. Um, it's a really hard to cast Genesis wave. Uh, Genesis wave is just X. No, no, this is just a sorcery. This is just yes, it'll trigger all the ETB triggers. It, it's they're they're put into play, so anything that enters the battlefield from this will cause ETBs to trigger. Um, so yes, you'll get your ETB triggers, uh, but. I think it's a little expensive, personally. Um, ah, I, I mean, I'm definitely playing in my teamer deck. You got a human soldier token and a swift water clips. Uh, Mystics of Duel, not a bad card. Where's everybody else? I don't know where everybody else is. They obviously don't want free stuff, right? Uh, Mystics of Duel, uh, Flash Enchantment, minus two, minus seven, lose all abilities. Uh, Cyborg card, maybe? Yeah. Yes. North World. Um, not sure about that card. Uh, King Sight Mentor again. Again, put a Vigilance Counter on something. Uh, he does, uh, as far as I know, but I mean, again, nobody's been able to play at all, so. Uh, we got the Indatha Crystal again, the, the Abzan uh, Mana Rock, the Cycles. Uh, we got a Foil Chittering Harvester. Uh, this is another one of those that's really hard to get to play. Um, it's five man. It's a six mana four six, which is not bad. Um, 
but it mutates for five, and whenever this creature mutates, each opponent sacks a creature. The problem is by the time you can cast this on it, you probably mutated your creature already three or four times. Um, so you probably don't have a lot more, so you'll probably get one removal out of this. However, we have another Mythos. Mythos of Brokos. Two green green sorcery. If blue black was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card, put that card in your graveyards, and shuffle your library. Then return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. There we go, the Mythos. So, for green, two and two and double green, return two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. Not bad. If you happen to be playing Salt Eye, or it can generate bl a blue and a black when you cast it, you get to tutor a card into your graveyard. You basically get to tutor a card and put it in your hand. So it's a four mana tutor for green, green, blue, black. Eh. I mean, if you're playing Gra Graveyard Recursion, I guess it's fine. I don't know how. Again, I think these these Mythos all, to me, look almost completely like uh, Commander cards. I think they're all Commander cards. Uh, same way with the Ultimatums. I think all of the Ultimatums are Commander cards. I don't think they're playable and constructed unless you really work at it. Uh uh, got a good little shout out to the Almighty Brushwag. Uh, one of the coolest little dudes to put mutate on, I think. Um, if you haven't seen the little porcupine rat dude, um, he's a 1 1 for 1 green, and he has trample. I'm a 1 1 trample. Arm. However, unlike the uh, uh, ferocious badger, that had there was one with the trample that you couldn't do anything with. This guy you can pay four and give him plus three plus three to end the turn. So you can pump him, which I think is a good idea. You should always pump him if you can. Uh, here's one for the red players. I know you guys have been wanting a nice red card. So here's Fire Prophecy. Everybody take a look at the Iris Sauron. You would think it does more damage. Um, does three damage to target creature. And then you may put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library. If you do, draw a card. So it basically, one in a red, deal three damage, and cycle a card. Kind of. I mean, that's... Uh, then we get naturalized, because we always need a three mana counter spell for some reason. This time it's got cycling on it. Wow, there's a human soldier token. Uh, we got the Trumpeting Gnar. Another great card. Uh, I think this is going to be the closest you're going to get to your Rhino. Uh, it is a one green, blue, three, three beast. Um, it mutates for three and hybrid uh, Simic. Uh, whenever this creature mutates, create a three, three beast creature token. So whenever it mutates, make a three, three beast. This card can get out of hand quick. If you can get it down early and just throw some really cheap things on it, you can really make this thing get out of hand. Um, and now, I think this is quite possibly my favorite non-rare card in the set. Pokemaster! CBW520! Yay! Uh, don't forget to follow. I love it. Um, this card is quite possible. Like I said, this card is... Put in this code. Yeah. You don't have to keep putting it in, Mark. We got gotcha. you. Um, this is quite possibly my favorite non-rare card. Back for more. It's four black green for an instant. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Six mana instant speed reanimate with a fight effect on it. Not counting anything else that you're creature you brought back does, like fight another creature, or destroy things, or blow other stuff up, or bounce everything, or tap everything, or whatever, right? Um, 
This is just, plus it's got some badass artwork on it. I want this in foil, or that, actually I want it in the cool, regular, the cool, goofy art. Um, I honestly think this is probably one of the most powerful cards they've printed in this set. Yeah. Just in case, if you're, if you're just logging on, if you're just following the stream, um, we are doing a giveaway. However, you must follow the stream and put CBW520 in honor of Comic Book World being open, limit, limitedly open for visitors uh, in store. Um, we do ask you that you practice social distancing. You can wear a mask if you choose to. Um, uh, we're taking every precaution, but again, they, uh, Kentucky is allowing uh, Comic Book World to start having people in and buying stuff off the shelves in the store. Um, another little aside, we do not have an official date on when we are going to be allowed to be holding Dungeons and Dragons, Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, or Hero Clicks tournaments or gatherings, um, mostly from Wizards. Wizards has to okay it, and the state has to okay us having, you know, people within three feet of each other. So, we'll have to see how that goes. However, I did find out today that our first draft back will be the Mystery Booster Box draft. So, those of you who have been waiting for that, it will be a Mystery Booster Box draft. Um, I can't wait. I think we should probably have a whole bunch of those because it's basically built to draft, good for draft, and, uh, you know, it has fun. So, here's this back for more. I love this card. I might keep this card for myself. Oh, uh, you guys want to see the rare and the foil? You guys want to see the foil, right? Well, first, we got a Jungle Hollow. So, yay, black and green. Um, then we got a foil Jungle Hollow for our foil. So, yay, black and green. And then, it looks like I'm playing Abzan. Here, this is for you, Josh. Abzan. And Dr. Trihome again with the cool art. Now, my question is, is, which one of these is more expensive? The foil version or this? And does this come in foil? I haven't looked. Somebody should probably check that out. Because if these come in foil... I'll do it the other one. Put it over here. So, yeah. Another try, another Indatha try home. I may give those away. I may give some. I may give all this away. I don't know. Me and the kids might play with it. Me and the kids might just give it away. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to tell. These feel. This one feels a little. Ah, it's okay. Thought it felt a little flimsy. Ah. Hold on one second. Mm -hmm. All right, I would like to thank whoever donated. Um, I cannot see the uh, donation names as they come in. Um, it takes a few minutes for it to load up. So if you donated to Extra Life, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, I, I, honestly, it's, it's, it's a great cause. Like I said, I've had um, several of my children there. And um, again, thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. You open a foil? Okay. All dark. Okay, good. So we have verification that they do exist. Ah, see? Like, why don't you, why don't we just get all of our magic cards like this? This is the Great Horn. Like, I'm totally just going to keep all that. Uh, another Jubilant Skybonder, because why wouldn't we? Uh, another Void Beckoner, uh, the Cycle with Death Touch. Uh, we got an, got an island. Okay, here's for all you non-control players. I'll do this just for you guys. Ban Islands, right? We're going to ban Islands. Ban Islands. Can I get a vote? Can I get a vote? 
Ben Islands going once. <laughs> but you know what else feels good? Getting an archipelago in the same kind of art, man. I love this art. I want I want my entire deck to be. I want my entire deck to look like that. Oh, I mean, we got a we got kind of a crappy. Um, yeah. Okay, Soren. You know, whatever you think. Not. Um, you know, we got kind of a crappy rare. Lutus. Don't forget the cup. Lurus. Lurus. The Dream Den. One hybrid Orzov, hybrid Orzov. A legendary creature, Cat Nightmare Companion. Our first companion of the day. Each permanent card in your starting deck has a converted mana cost two or less. It has lifelink. It's a 3-2. What? No. This card, this card's garbage. Lifelink. During each of your turns, you may cast one permanent spell with converted mana cost two or less from your graveyard. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm totally playing this card in my Norn Soul Sisters deck because then I can just keep bringing Norn back, even if you did kill him. Um, yeah, uh, everybody seems to be making decks around that. I don't, I'm not in on the hype, personally. I'm trying to break other really harder to break cards myself. You know me. Any, anybody can make a two drop, uh, a two drop hate bear dot deck. My question is, is what, what, yeah, my son's a blue player. He's busy picking out the island out of the, out of the. Out of the garbage you can play it. Another human soldier token. Can I get a beast token, really? Honestly? Can I just get a beast token? That'd be great, right? I actually don't like blue. Um, um, got a reprint of Anticipate. Love that. Um, uh, Farfinder are more expensive version. Um, it's a 1-1 one -one with Vigilance. It doesn't have flying and it goes and gets you a basic land. And it puts it in your hand. Um, then we get to uh, we get to a, 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 the another crystal. This one is the Teamer crystal. Um, I don't know which one of these is better. Uh, we've got a Bossoming Sands. Um, Proud Wild Bonder. Uh, two and two hybrid Gruel for a 4 3 human warrior as trample. Creatures you control with trample have, you may have this creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. So, it has trample. All your creatures with trample, you can say, eh, they didn't get blocked. Uh, there's another card that does that that was recently printed last year, two years ago. It was in a. What deck was that in? It was in the, um, yeah, you can get scary real quick. Uh, what was the name of that card? It was like the Twin Grove or something. It was from, uh, I think maybe it was from one of the uh, starter decks. They had one, something in here like that. Um, another red all-star here. Three mana, instant, flame spill. All right, all the red. Let's see some fire emotes in the red. Uh, flame spill deals four damage to target creature. XX damage is dealt to that creature's controller instead. Basically, this says flame spill deals four damage with trample. They didn't put trample on it because it would confuse people, so they spelled it out. But this is basically a four mana, uh, a three mana four damage instant that tramples. And then we have a build around card that I've been trying to break, and it is really really hard for this thing to get good. I don't. I may have to do Commander with it. I'm not sure. But this is the Uzolith. It's the Ozolith. A one mana legendary artifact. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Uzolith. Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you can move those counters, move all those counters from the Ozolith onto the target creature. Now, this card, horrible and constructed. Yeah, it's an instant admin, Tricent. Um, this card is 
good in a couple of commander decks, specifically Atraxa, or um, uh, uh, Pure and Toothing, I think. Oh yeah, uh, adapt. Yeah, it's just there's just not enough. It, it you have to be adapt and proliferate and have space for this card on top of it, and there's just not enough room for it. There's not enough room to make it good. I think a pure and toothy deck could do. I think a pure and toothy would be real good on this. I mean, beginning of the combat, you blink toothy. All those counters come off a of toothy. Go on here. You know, beginning of your turn, you blink toothy. All those counters come off, go onto here. Toothy enters the battlefield. You go to your combat step, move all these counters back onto Toothy. So I think that's the way to go. I think Toothy is Ozolith. There's an O after the other. There's an O after the Z. It's O, then Z, then O again. No. Uh, let's see here. What we got going on? Uh, again, we talked about having evolving wilds in the common slots, which I think is great. Um, fight as one. One mana instant. Choose one or both. Target human you control gets plus one, plus one against indestructible. Target non-human you control gets plus one, plus one against indestructible until end of turn. Um, great fight card in white. Yeah. Fat fingers. We're talking about fat fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Fight is one. Not a bad card. Polywog Symbiote. We do not have the cool looking one, so I'm not going to show it to the camera. This is the ugly one. Each creature you control, each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. Whenever you cast a creature, if it has mutate, draw a card, then discard a card. Another Indotha Crystal, because, you know, I don't have enough of those yet. Um. Another island, we're going to put this one over here with the swamp and make it feel good about itself. Um, remember, playing arena, no table required. Except for, you know, your the one that you got to put your desk on, or the one you got to put your computer on, and your monitor. And um, I think this is what, our third or fourth Indotha Try Home? So, yeah, another Indotha Try Home. So that one wasn't bad. Um, from what I saw looking at the deck, I think it was all over the place. I think this is going to be one. This is going to be one of the harder ones. I think you're basically blue, white, splashing green. Um, that's about all I saw. You might get away with, might get away with Sultai, but I doubt it. Yeah, I've got to force that cycling and seal, huh? Okay. Oh wait, here. I've got a question for you. Yes, question. Um, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't want to discuss it. That, that, that's not a real card. We don't talk about this. All right. So we'll put up to a vote. I'm going to open four of these and leave one unopened to give away. So we have the blue theme booster. We have the green theme booster, the red theme and the black theme, and the monsters theme. What do you want me to leave out? What what doesn't get what doesn't get opened? Black, red, green, blue, or monsters? Which one doesn't get opened? Blue. So you want me to give away the blue? Whichever one I don't open, I'm giving away. Monsters? Green. All right, so we have a vote for blue, a vote for monsters, and a vote for green. You guys are going to... Yeah, five color sealed? You want me to... So, okay. So, wait, wait. That's... Uh, I'm not opposed to this. I'm not opposed to opening these, opening these boosters. Making a deck out of these, we'll, we'll build a deck. After we're done with all this, we'll build a deck with these cards on Arena and see how good it is. What do you think? Is that what you guys want to do? Because I'll do that. 
seems like they really want to keep Baloo. I don't know. Yeah, because, I mean, I'll do that. We'll take all five of these. We'll crack them open. I'll, I have all the cards on Arena. All the Aquaria cards on Arena. And we'll uh, take the cards that we get out of here. We'll put them into one deck. We'll build a single deck out of these. And then uh, play a couple rounds. See how well it does. See how, see how good you guys are at actual deck building? Ooh, ouch. Oh, well, you know, it's them. I don't know. I mean, I think uh, Andrew might. Uh, I don't know. S name Handy. Maybe they know what they're doing. I'm not sure. Who's the last name? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to give you guys about another minute or so here. Uh, I'm going to send my minion to go grab a snack. Oh, sorry. I said, which one of these? We, we have two choices. One, I can open all of these packs, take these cards, and then we'll start on... Uh, arena after the, after the giveaway, and we'll take the cards that we find in here and build a deck. Or, if you want, I will open four of these and give away one. Which one do you want me to give away? Right now, it's I'm giving away the blue one. That one's the one that's leading. I have three votes for blue. Two votes for blue. And one vote for monsters. So, and one for green. And one for green. So, right now, everybody wants me to open the blue, the red and the black ones. Yeah, open four, give one. Okay, so which one am I going to give? Monsters, blue, green, red, or black? Hey, well, I'm going to go get snacks. Yeah, go get your snacks. And no one else gets snacks. Yeah, yeah. They say give monsters. Okay, there's two for monsters. So these two are tied. Green is out of the running at the moment. Three blue votes. Three blue votes, two monsters. The green is out, you vote monsters. Now they're tied again. Okay. You Pokemark said blue. We got three for monsters. 70 votes for monsters. Do I hear 80? Eighty. There we go. You want the muffins? No, I do not want a muffin. But thank you very much. My son offered to bring me muffins. Isn't that so nice of him? No, I just knew that if I had to open one of these, you'd want some, and then. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's how that works, right? Sorry, guys. I got to bring my drink up here a little bit because I am dying of thirst. Oh. I am parched. Yes, you can have that. You can have them. That's fine. Go ahead. Have them. Um, yes. All right. So, well, they're blueberry muffins, of course. Well, one's chocolate, one's blueberry. Okay. Well, then I'm going to take the blueberry muffins. <laughs> that was dumb. You shouldn't have brought up one of each. Like, if you'd have brought up two of the same one. All right. Monsters it is. Monsters is going on, on the pile of things to give away over here. So, since nobody voted for red or green, red or black, we're going to open them first. Oh, I got to put this, put my other try home in here with these other things. Actually, I think I'm going to do a. Oh, we'll go ahead and open the red one. What? Roll die. No, I don't want to roll a die. Oh, first, first. Pokemon. Pokemon? Okay, these are... All right, so, just for those of you at home, if you open the top of this box, you cannot get your cards out. Okay? Why? It is, it is 
literally, this is this is in there, glued to the box on both sides. You have to open your box upside down from the bottom. Okay. Which means that you've totally ruined your box the minute you try to open it from the top. And it won't open well from the bottom. Alright, we got our little please don't stealing thing. And then a prepackaged red theme booster. Uh, 35 cards from the Coria Lair Behemoths, including at least one rare or mythic rare card. Add 25 lands to start building a deck, a 60 card deck. It doesn't, it doesn't say add 25 lands to build a 60, to start building a 60 card deck. Yeah. Add 25 lands to start building a 60 card deck. And they put those on two lines. Because why give us. I don't think so. Um, so this is red. Well, okay, I take that back. I think this. Well, let's go through it. So we have a flame spill. Uh, there we go. Badass Cloud Piercer. Again, that's the only art I want on any of my cards from now on. Uh, that's the uh, Mutate with Reach. Uh, we got Mothra Egg. Uh, Tentative Connection. Football Crater. So here's a stack of cards that aren't any good. Uh, Gorilla's not bad. Sanctuary Smasher. Gremlin. Blazing Volleys. Oh, look at that. You got a pair of them. That's pretty cool. Another Blazing Volley, another Flame Spill, another Gorilla, Fire Burn. Weaponize the Monsters. Another regular Cloud Piercer, a Pyroceratops. Uh, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Uh, let's get some uh, discussion on that one. Uh, it's one in a red for an instant. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the number of instant sorceries in your graveyard. That creature would die this turn. That creature or planeswalker would die this turn. Exile it. Hey, Soren, don't forget to follow. And use he the already code. followed. Soren's already followed. He just needs to make sure he uses the code CBW520. Um, Blitz, I think, is a good card. Rock Slide is great. Deal damage equal number of lands you control. Another Ceratops. Blazing Volley. Uh, useless card in every format. Uh, you get a Mentor. Uh, Shredded Sail's not bad. Uh... Reptilian well, Reflection. He only has to use the code if he wants free stuff, but you know. Oh yeah, I mean you only you only have to use the code if you want free stuff. I mean everybody wants free stuff. Almost everybody wants free stuff. Reptilian Reflection. Here's another card I don't know how to think about it. Um, it's two and a red for a enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, you may have Reptilian Reflection become a three five four dinosaur creature with trample and haste in addition to its other types until end of turn. Now, in the cycling deck, I think it's pretty good, but I don't know how often you get to use it. Uh, we have a go for blood. Uh, target creature you control, fight target creature you don't control. Another shred stale, forbidden, weaponized monsters, and the unpredictable cyclone is our rare. Goofy card, commander only. Um, if cycling, if the cycling ability, so it's three and two red for an enchantment. So it's the it's the big five mana red enchantment that doesn't do anything in most decks. Um, if a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card, instead exile a card from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a type with the card. It shares a card type with the cycle card. You may cast a card without paying its mana cost. Then put the exile cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. This card has cycling too. Uh, it's it's a it's a commander card. You're not building you're not building a deck around these things. Um, there's no good way to tutor it. There's no good way to make sure that it shows up when you need it. And it's five mana, so Teferi is probably going to keep you from doing anything until then. What are you doing? What? There's no sound. There's nothing on. What is? Knucklehead putting in the headphones. Yeah. <laughs> Watch the breeze. 
Um, yeah, and I started to open this one from the top again anyway. So, so let's see what the blue one is. Rip, rip packaging. Yeah, rip packaging. No kidding. Um, here's another. Please don't steal me. Another box. It's useless. Let's see how good the blue one is compared to the red one. Yeah, no, I saw that. Yeah. If Seth can't make a card good, I don't think anybody can. Uh, so here we got One Mind, Thieving Otter, Phase Dolphin, Dreamtail Heron. <laughs> Blue is trash, Fogger. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I love those cards. Gust of Wind, Mystics of Duel, Crustacean, Facet Reader. Uh, basically, Murphic Leader. Uh, Gust of Wind, Cunning Net Bonder, Boot of the Fish Gunner, Facet Reader, Essence Cutter, Anticipate, Pouncing Shark, Dreamtail Heron, Wingspan Mentor. This is basically blue flying. Uh, I'm going to seize. I'm going to seize. There's a great card. Uh, whenever you draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on it. I'm going to seize. Yes. Remove eight foreshadow counters from I'm going to seize. Create an 8 8. Blue Kraken Creature Token. Yep, that's a Kraken. So this card does not say sacrifice this enchantment, make an 8-8. It says take eight counters off of it. Yeah, the token looks sweet too. But this card doesn't say, it says when you draw a card, put a counter on it. Take eight, take eight counters off of it, make an 8-8 Kraken. Now, it doesn't have hex root, but it's basically a... Yeah, I know, right? It is... Uh, Boon of the Gift Giver, more Wingful Terrons, Hampering Snare, Escape Protocol, Convolute, Capture Spear, Hampering Snare, Thieving Honor, Escape Protocol, Flash Bail, Ambush, Aegis Turtle, and um, the Mythos of Iluna. It's probably one of the best ones. Uh, it's two blue blue. Create a token that's a copy of Target Permanent. Target Permanent, which means you can have two of your ominous things out there. If red green was spent to cast this spell, instead create a token that's a copy of that permanent, except this token has, when this permanent enters the battlefield, if it's a creature, it bites a creature you don't control. Yeah, well, would, would, would you play it in Teamer so you could have two of them? Um, I like copy effects. I'm a big fan of copy effects. It's great in Teamer. Teamer's got a lot of good copy effects. Um, got a good bunch of monsters, and if you're copying a monster, the, it says instead uh, the token comes in and fights. So I think Blue's winning this fight so far. Um, yeah. yeah, the red deck is not going to do very well. I don't think. Um, yeah, I know, right? It can copy lands. Yes, it can copy lands. That's. You copy any permanent on the battlefield. It does not have to be yours. It just has to be. Oh, look at this. This one did not come with the uh, requisite uh, please don't steal me card. Huh. So, on to black. What we got here. Um, I really like the card on top. I, so far, I think uh, blue is winning. Red, I think, is. I feel bad for it, but so we got Blitz, please. Do blue, black, and green, red. No. Insatiable Hemophage. This is, uh, uh, Blitz Leech is pretty good. Flash, when there's, they get minus the opponent control, target creature opponent controls gets minus two, minus two until end of turn, and take all the counters off of it. That can be devastating. Uh, this is the, Hemophage is the death touch whenever this creature mutates, each opponent loses X, and you gain X life, where X is number of times you mutated. Um, I'm going to keep showing these cards until I, until, until Wizards listens to me. Um, that is Cavern Whisperer. You realize that Wizards doesn't watch at night. Uh, they will eventually. Boot Nipper, great card. Boyd Beckner, Night Squad, Adaptive Shimmer, Unexpected Fangs, Grim Dancer, Blood Curdle, Destroy Target Creature, Put a Menace Counter on a Creature You Control. Great card. I mean, a four mana instant destroy target creature. I mean, we've been paying that for a long time now, right? And now we get to put a menace counter on one of our dudes. Sounds good. Uh, Dark Bargain, 
uh, token killer suffocating fumes, another boy squeeze, boy cast unbreakable bond. Um, I think unbreakable bond's a little expensive for um, it's it's a draft card. Um, it's uh, five mana. Um, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a life encounter on it. I mean, five mana reanimates not out of the wheelhouse at this point. Oh, you didn't see that. I'm not smoking on you. Promise. Corpse churn. Cough. Cough, cough. Cough, cough, cough. That's right. Cough, cough, cough. Say goodbye to your stream. Yeah, say goodbye. It's not against the rules. It's highly advised. Uh, it's I not know. even advised against. Uh, Call of the Death Dweller. Uh, three mana, return up to two target creature cards or convert a mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a death touch counter on one, on either of them, then put a menace counter on either of them. <laughs> no. No, no, no. That's fine. Um, so three mana, return up to uh, two creatures, convert a mana cost three or less, put a death touch on one, and put a menace counter on one. Now, here's the cool thing. If you just reanimate a single creature, you get to put both counters on it. If you reanimate two creatures, you can still put both counters on one of them. However, you get a three drop. It's incense. Yes, it's incense. It's totally is incense. But yeah, I mean, it's a sorcery, but, you know, bring bring a three drop or less back, put a menace and lifelink on it. I mean, uh, Whisper Squad is not good. Lurking Dead Eye. Mutual Destruction is okay. Scorpion. Oh, yeah, so, um, pretty sure black is going to tie, uh, to be honest, I think black has the best rare so far. Um, this rare is Extinction Event. Three and a black for a sorcery. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with converted mana cost of the chosen value. Zero is even, by the way, we all know this. So, four mana sorcery, exile, odd or even. Just flat out exile, odd or even. No, can't smoke pot, not legal in Kentucky. Not legal in my home state. Uh, extinction event. I think that one wins so far. And then we get to green. Um, I think that's pretty bonkers. I mean, honestly. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clip together a whole video of you out of context. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah, that's, you see, that's what happens when you, when you, work, when you work with children. Wow, so I'm <laughs> considered children now. Have fun editing your own videos, buddy. Yeah, well, have fun finding your own food at the grocery store with no money, buddy. Yeah, I didn't threaten my kid on, on stream, honest. All right. Yeah, it seems a bit just... just Completely, and totally, just like, hey, it looks like you're playing uh, all your two drops when you're in your Lura deck, huh? I'm an Exile all of them. Well, I can't cast them if they're exiled. I know. Brushwag, boy grown, recluse, great card. That one's garbage. Oh, two more. See, like we didn't get two in that one. Uh, Greater Sandworm makes a resurgence. Love Greater Sandworm. Always did. Um, Bristling Boar is back. The wolf bear, the chubby wolf bear, that fat wolf bear. Um, wilt, lead the stampede, barrier breach. Okay, so green officially loses because they put a fog in the deck for some reason. Uh, honey mammoth. Oh, hey. I'll throw this card down. We got Fertilid back. Yeah, we got Fergalid back. Hornbash Mentor, Adventure Simples Plummet. Oh, well, okay. Jingotha the Wellspring is the card here. Yeah, it kind of uh, helps if we put the card in front of the camera. I, yeah, well, you know what? I'm trying to figure out where the camera's at. So, Jingotha the Wellspring. 
Um, our only, only our second companion today. Um, Jengoth of the Wellspring is a four, four colorless, one gruel hybrid for a legendary creature, Elemental Elk. And it's a 5-5. Five, five. Companion, no, dark, no card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in its cost. And it taps for Wooburg, and it can't be used to pay for generic costs. It exiles creature. Um, it exiles what all creatures. Exile event, exile, extinction event exiles all creature of the, that converted mana cost. Um, so, Chingatha, the Wellspring. Let's see about that card, too. All right. We are going to be taking a small break here uh, while I get things set up for the... Okay, look, you forgot for, a pre No, I didn't pack. forget a pre-release pack. Oh. I'm going to take a quick break right here for me to use the uh, little spaceman's room. Um, give everybody a uh, nice little break here. Get up and stretch. Uh, I've been live for about an hour and 15 minutes. Invite your friends. Yeah, um, everybody invite your friends. Um, or as many people, people as we want. Me, might not be your friends. Yeah, friends, not friends. Acquaintances, guy next door, casuals that you've never met. I don't know. Remember, this is this event is for Comic Book World. Please check the link down below. Go to Comic Book World, but Comic Book Book World dot com because English is my fifth language. Um, uh, for all your uh, magic needs, role playing, tabletop games, and of course, comic books. Uh, check them out. Give them a call. They're great people. I highly recommend it. Um, I will be back in approximately five minutes or less. So, maybe more depending on how the will We'll be right back.
Greetings and salutations. We're back. Again, I want to thank you all for your donations. Um, if you would like to donate directly, uh, you can use the tip jar or you can visit us at Patreon at patreon.com slash the loophole king. Um, help keep this stream alive so we can do more stuff like this, more giveaways, more magic content, more D&D. Um, also, uh, please make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, Currently, we don't have anything posted to YouTube because we had a little bit, a little bit of a mishap yesterday. Yep, there's our spin down. Um, sorry, card thing. Um, also, um, if you like D and D, you like watching Dungeons and Dragons, um, or if you enjoy watching a campaign of Dungeons and Dragons, um, please visit my my uh, sister site. Over at DM the Mark Knight, you will find him over there in my white people. You can also watch his streams here when they're on when I'm hosting. Um, I am participating in two of his live streams: the one on Tuesday nights, which starts at 5:30, and the one on Friday nights, which starts at 6:30, 7 o'clock. Um, he does. Uh, they are all homebrew campaigns. They are all in the same world, the same home world, and we. He does them on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. So you can watch me um, on uh, most weekdays from 9 till noon and then 1 till 4. And then you can see, uh, watch one of my uh, hosted streams uh, from there. So let's get started. We have uh, our last boost, our last pre release kit here. Get our. Uh, Six packs out. Uh oh. Is there six? Yep, there's six. Okay, good. Um, all right, here we go. I'm going to do this. Uh, if you can't read it, it's not my fault. First come, first serve. And because my uh, thing isn't a great, um, it's the arena code is first come, first serve. And so boo -boo. put it yeah, right there. And Boo Boo is going to put it right in chat. So there you go. Free code, first come, first serve. You've already gotten it off of the screen cap. More power to you. I'm opening this one because I want to see what it looks like without the plastic around it. And this is our promo card, which is? Oh, uh, after the C, there's supposed to be a dash. Yeah, they know. They'll figure it out. Uh, the Katria Sky Home, Try Home, which is the Teamer one. Um, I wanted to see what it was like when you got it out. It is still bent. You guys can see that it's still bent, so even out of the plastic, it's bent. So sorry about that. All right, pack number one. Just gonna go through this and get to the uncommons. This is Charge of the Forever Beast. Uh, that's the fight from your hand card. Love that one. Been around for a while. Huh? He must have been around for a while. Yeah. Uh, Necro Panther. Check out the Necro Panther art again. Uh, Heartless Act. Heartless Act is not a great card, but it's fine. Uh, one in a black for an instant. Choose one. Destroy target creature with no counters on it. Remove up to three counters from a creature. So. I mean, it's a two mana kill a creature with no counters on it. Um, then we got a foil swamp. See the shininess of it? Swamp. We got a swamp. Uh, we got a planes. This is our first planes. Human soldier token and another Jingatha, the wellspring. Yay, Jingatha. Uh, this is the companion 
no card in your starting deck can, has more than one of the same mana cost, mana symbol and it's mana cost. And it taps for Wuber. So, not a bad start. Um, five color good stuff. Full swamps are good. I mean, I'm not sure about the art on this one though. Like, it doesn't really say swamp on it. It says, it seems more like, I mean, it doesn't really look like a swamp to me. I don't know. It doesn't really say swamp. It looks more of like a cave. Cave. C A V E cave. Great. Now I'm going to get something like Oscar for Life Legends. Yes, you are. Um, Commons. Uh, reptilian Reflection. When you cycle a card, this becomes a 5 4 dinosaur with trample until end of turn. Cunning Nightbonder, the Demir Flash and Flash cards cast one less and can't be countered. The Demir Flash is not a bad deck, but I don't think it's got enough stuff. Uh, someone asking a judge question? We can handle those. Another Ominous Seas, because, uh, you know, we always want to make 8 8s. Uh, Oh, that's nice. Uh, so we got a Tranquil Cove, another human soldier token. I wonder if they're going to reprint Sailor Moons. They've reprinted them twice already. And then we get the uh, Jeskai Mythos of Bedrock. Two red red. Mythos of Bedrock deals five damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If blue white was spent to cast a spell until your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block, and their activated abilities can't be activated. This one's not bad, not great, but not bad. I mean, we are playing five color good stuff right now, so we're doing okay. And then we have a foil, um, so we can confirm that these alternate art ones do come in foil, and it looks just as cool as I thought it would. This is the trumpeting nar in foil. Nar. I don't know if you can see the shininess of it. There we go. There's a little shiny of it. Godzilla Land art to me looks like you put the wrong names on the art. Yeah. Um, that's cool. That's a foil. That's badass. Oh. Yeah. That is cool. Aren't they though? I mean, How come we haven't gotten a baby Godzilla yet. I we don't. I don't know. Baby Godzilla is baby Godzilla, right? I want baby Godzilla. Of course, you want baby Godzilla. Baby Godzilla. Uh, Momentum Rumbler. Had him before. Um, he's a three-three for four. If he doesn't have first strike when he attacks, give him first strike. Uh, whenever he attacks, if he has first strike, give him double strike until end of turn. Uh, Frill Scale Mentor. Put Menace counters on things, uh, non-humans, and then put counters on your Menace creatures. Oh, get the Black Mentor as well. This is pretty much uh, five color good stuff, right? So there's blue, green, green, red, red, black. Uh, this is the uh, Life Link one. Uh, we got a Forced. We got more counters. And we got Karuga, the Macro Sage. This big guy, poor, poor little fat bastard, is three Simic Simic hybrid. Companion, legendary creature, dinosaur hippo. He's a 5 4. Companion, your starting deck contains only cards with converted mana cost three or greater and land cards. When Karuga the Macro Sage enters the battlefield, draw a card for each other permanent you control with converted mana cost three or greater. So there we go. There's the fat dino hippo. Or hippo dino, dinosaur hippo. Make sure you get those in the right order. Dinosaur hippo. Pretty good card. Um, good late game. Not a bad companion. Um, I think he's easier to use than most of them are. Um, hey, we finally got a dinosaur token instead of humans. Got another swamp. Uh, prickly marmoset. That's the one I'm trying. The the lemur monkey porcupine. Prickly marmoset. Um, Fertilid, Anticipate, uh, Fire Frosty. Ah, the red guys get something else. Zenith Flare, two red-white. 
For an instant, Zenith Flare deals X damage to any target and you gain X life where X is the number of cards with cycling ability in your graveyard. Pretty good if you're playing cycling. Um, one mana, white, for a sorcery called Swallow Hole. As an additional cost to cast a spell, tap an untapped creature you control. Exile, target tapped creature. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature tapped to pay this spell's additional cost. I don't know where this works. So you pay a white and tap somebody you an untapped dude you don't control. Okay, I did that. Then I exile this. Uh exile target tap creature. Okay, I it makes sense to me now. Alright, I, I, I understand it. Sorry, I was confused. I thought it meant exile the creature you tap to pay for the cost. And I was like, well, that seems kind of dumb to me. <laughs> target, yeah, target tapped creature. Yes, I understand. Um, Grim Dancer. Yes, yes, reading a card explains a card. I didn't see the period at the end of that sentence, okay? Exile target... Tapped creature, put a 1-1 one, one counter on the creature, tap to pay this cost. I didn't see the period at the end of target tapped creature. Sorry. One black black for Grim Dancer for a 3-3. Three, three. Enters the battlefield with your choice of two different counters from amongst Menace, Death Touch, and Lifelink. So you get a 3-3 three, three Death Touch Lifelinker, you get a 3-3 three, three Menace Death Toucher, or a 3-3 three, three Menace Lifelinker for three. Busted card, pretty good. And then we get Yorion! Yay, giant bird monster. Yay, Hello, bird monster. Sparkle motion. Bird monsters, yay. Yorion, Sky Nomad, for three, Azorius, Azorius hybrid. Her legendary bird serpent, four, five. Companion, your starting deck contains at least 20 cards more than the minimum deck size. Flying, when Yorion enters backfield, exile any number of other non land permits you own and control. Return those cards to the battlefield at the beginning of the next instep. I have not been able to do anything good with him at all. Sparkle Motion. Greetings. Sparkle Motion! Welcome to the stream! Thank you for following. Yes, that's right. Thank you for following. Uh, planes and another dinosaur token. We got Stinger. Got a couple of cards here. Right. Huh? Your deck is now 80 cards long. Yeah, I know, right? Why would you want your deck to be 80 cards? In Commander, it's, you, you can't play it as a Companion in Commander. That's sad. Well, no, yeah, because it, it, it specifically states that you can't you can't because Commander has a fixed number of cards. You can't play it in Brawl either because it has a fixed number of cards. You can play it in Standard, Vintage, Modern. I don't know. Uh, we have Regal Leosaur. This is a new card we haven't had yet. What are you doing? Oh, Pioneer. Yeah. Why'd you do that? You're, you're goofy. Um, Regal Leosaur for red white dinosaur cat. 2 2 with mutate of 1 and Boros Boros hybrid. Uh, whenever the creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. Pretty basic. Great card. Can't go wrong with giving all your people uh, when you... Yeah, okay, if you say so. Uh, reconnaissance mission. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw. you may draw a card. It's, it's a may ability. Uh, four mana enchantment. Flame spill. We like this one, right? Four damage. Uh... Two in a red for an instant, deal four damage to target creature, and it has trample. And then we have a uh, foil of Sanctuary Lockdown. Humans you get from, yeah, that's a good uh, card. And Inspired Ultimatum. Jeskai Ultimatum. You guys have been waiting on that, haven't you, Mark? 
Blue, blue, red, 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 white, white. Sorcery, target player gains five life. Inspired ultimatum deals five damage to any target and you draw, then you draw five cards. Gain five, deal five, draw five. Can't go wrong with that. It's hard as hell to cast, but you know, why not, right? Um, we are playing Jurgen the Wellspring, Jengatha the Wellspring, playing two of them, right? One is the companion, one is the one in the deck. Uh, get us another Huntmaster Liger. Um, four mana, three, four cat. Uh, mutates for two and a white. Whenever this creature mutates, other creatures you control get plus X plus X until end of turn where X is the number of times this creature is mutated. Works good with the other Leonid. Um, got a foil fire prophecy. Deals three damage target creature, and you put a card from your hand on the bottom of your library if you do draw a card. Uh, got a wind scarred crag. What's that about? Five, five, five. Wow. Uh, human Soldier Token. Uh, like I said, probably one of my favorite cards. Back for more. Uh, four black and a green. Return target creature card from graveyard to the battlefield. When you when you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Reanimate with a fight mechanic. And um, I seem to be holding steady on um, if... Matt, Re if anybody sees Mr. Reaper, please tell him that, yes, I opened three of these uh, pre-release packs, and nearly every card that I opened was a stinking land, because here is our Rurigan Trihome. Rurigan Trihome. It is the Jeskai Trihome in the alt art. All right. We did an ultimatum deck that would be a train wreck. So, which ultimatum? I mean, are you just going to play all of the ultimatums? I mean, Five-color ultimatum deck? Nah, doesn't seem good. Doesn't seem good, does it? All right. Uh, let's see here. I have this one to give away. I have this one to give away, I think. Let's see. These are it's a Wings Guard card. Oh, I got my Trihome in here. My other Trihome. Uh, tokens of Glore. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I don't want to read the codes. Hmm? Yep. Um, so, because you all were uh, very nice and very helpful, um, I need to do one thing real quick while I am here. I know they can't see my screen. It's kind of the purpose that they can't see my screen. You took my keyboard. All right, guys. You handed me the keyboard. I know I did. Why are you yelling at me? Yeah, nice try. <laughs> uh, I can't do anything right. Uh, give me one second, fellas, ladies and gents. I don't want to pop up for will you? Sure. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We have some stuff to give away. Everybody wants to see the good stuff, right? So, just so you know, these are unopened. These are fresh from the store. This is the Sorion Matte Art Dragon Sleeves. I hope you can see the picture. It's the little jester guy on the front. Uh, we're going to be giving these away. We're going to be giving away the Monsters Theme Deck Booster. And... The grand prize is the Magic Game Night box. And the grand prize is the Magic Game Night box. It's Dadception. Yes, it's Dadception. Dad's All right. 
So, all right. So, uh, first of all, for um, first of all, those of you for, watching at home, um, uh, I would like to thank comic again. A uh, quick thank you to Comic Book World for letting us go ahead and open this product, for giving us the stuff and giving us a chance to uh, enjoy box openings um, the way magic was intended. Now, I'm going to give these things away to the youngest person in chat. I'm going to give these things away to the youngest person Yeah, they're right. You have an echo. I do? Yeah, they're right. You have an echo. I do? Where did I get it? Oh, I bet it's up here. All right, never mind. I'll do that. Is that better now? Yes. Okay, because it was the uh, desktop audio being funneled through. My bad. <laughs> I was checking out my page for, for uh, a certain something. And then you hear you said you. Sorry. <laughs> it, <laughs> it wasn't my speakers. I pulled up my I pulled up my Twitch. I pulled up Twitch on my other screen, and it has desktop audio funneled through the stream. So, um, I need to know who is the youngest person in chat. I know it's not Mark. I know it's not Soren. I know it's not Satan told me. So far, Artemis is the youngest. Yeah. Uh, last name handy? <laughs> well, does he count? Did he follow? <laughs> yeah, I know that. That's, I mean, I'm just saying. We're, we're not talking about the mentality. <laughs> um, that's, yeah. Because, I mean, technically it would be me. Right? All right. Artemis SGT13. Please stay on. Uh, you can uh, email me at the loophole king at gmail.com. You can all do that. The loop, the loophole king at gmail.com. Go ahead and Steve, Steve, Steve. Go ahead and uh, email me your name, and whether you would like to pick this up at Comic Book Lord yourself, or if you would like us to drop it off or have it shipped to you. Those are your choices. So please let me know in the email. I thought it was a random drawing. Uh, no, for the big, the big oh, thing is random. Oh, the big thing is random. Yeah, the big thing is random. This is also random. I don't know who's on here. And Well, I mean, I know who's on here, but I, I don't know anybody's ages. I don't care about their age. Wow. Well, I don't care about their age. Like, their birthday rolls around, and there's like, oh, hey, happy birthday, because Facebook tells me it's their birthday, and I say happy birthday. The Loophole King at Gmail. It's the title without, it's the title of the stream with, uh, without title the, the Twitch page without the underscores. Type it in. Yeah. Um, uh, my technical advisor is going to type it in. To chat so you can see it. All right, so there's that one. Number two is going to be this one, and we're going to give this one away via a RNG. No, a question. Ah. A random magic question. Um, I want to see how well you guys know me. So, the question is, what is my favorite magic card? I don't even know that. And I live with you. <laughs> then we gets it in 60 seconds, I will uh, do another question. All right, type it in the chat. My favorite magic card of all time. And 
No, it is not Bob. Um, the uh, just so you know, um, I did mention it on this this very stream. No, not an island, but close. Sorry, gotta close my window. Got people outside. Scry? No, you can't scry. Close. Not anticipate. I give you another hint. Blue Chronos. No, wait, that's Greg. Yes, that's you're right. That is Greg. Um, no. Uh, all right. You guys have had enough. Rules lawyer. Get, good guess, but no. Um, actually. It is Norin the Wary. Yeah. Yeah. It's Norin the Wary. One mana, two, one. Legendary human. Damn yeah, but you didn't type it. You said Tim. Yes. Norin Sisters. All right. So here is another one. Uh, let's see here. What's a good? Uh, what's a good? A good magic question for people who aren't judges. Uh, uh, I did say it. Norin, red flicker. Yes, right. Yep. <laughs> um, oh, here we go. How many companion cards are there? Six? Ten? Six? Right, Soren, who's right? Eleven. He just went with eleven. <laughs> just like, I'm just going to throw him in there. First person to get it was Artemis again. There you go, Artemis. <laughs> Are you stream sniping me? Is that what you're doing? Wait, how would you be doing that? I know. Unless right. this gets some sort of weird. It is ten. It's ten. It's one for each guild. By the way. Just in case you were wondering. Artemis! Why is it not fair on your part? Okay, then I will move on to last name Handy. Last name Handy, this is yours. Again, please check out the... Um, you're totally screen sniping me. I don't trust you at all. I'm not really afraid of Steam. Um, so, uh, last name Handy. Please make sure that you uh, send me an email uh, with your name and address and, and uh, how you would like this delivered. If you would like to stop by the shop and pick it up. If you would like someone to deliver it to your house or if you want it shipped to you. All three of those are viable options. Please let me know in the email. Now, for the last... And final, those are mine. Oh, these are yours? Yes. You were only going to give them one code? I only gave them one code. That's tough. So we have... Eight people. Eight people? 
Wait. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine players. And we have ten viewers. We have nine players. Who's our last player? You. Not me. It is. No, not me. Another viewer. Bristol Rich. Commander Root. If you are following, please make sure you follow and then type in the code. W C B W five twenty. I'm going to go get our official um, picker. Yes. So, so get, far we go get our official picker. Go get our official picker. So the people we have so far are. North Ward 1, Satan's homie, Mark, last name Handy, Armist 13, Bearcat Josh, Pokemon Monster, Sword and Planeswalker, Spark Motion. Oh, that's easy. Counter spell. Any, any counter spell. So, if you are watching, this is your last chance. Please follow and then type in the code CBW520. Official picker? Yep, yeah, official picker. Approach, yeah. Wouldn't it just be easier to get that little thingy that you just... No. 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 Yeah. Hold this up. Hmm? Hold that Hold up. Hold it up. Hold it up. It's right here. Give me one second. Showed up. Mm -hmm. Are the people at our house? Yeah. Are the people that like, signed the window on? Mm hmm. Yeah. Hold it up. Hold, hold it more. Hold it more. Hold it more. Uh, here's an official hat. Official hat. Well, Go Army. Support your, support our troops. They keep us safe so we can do things like this random crap every two seconds. Making people, making weird stuff, doing weird stuff. Oh, that's America for you. Hey. I'm not being mean to America. I'm yeah. just saying that's America for Welcome you. to America. Where, uh, we decide that, uh, it's not good enough to have a 105 howitzer that we can put on the ground. We go, hey, see that, see that, uh, giant plane? Let's put one of them in there. Well, okay, will it fit? What else? Can we put another one? No. Can we put a forty mil? Can we put a four millimeter uh, grenade launcher in there? Oh yeah, we got plenty of room for that. Okay. And then don't forget about Big the guns. twenty-five millimeter chain gun. Yeah, and then the twenty-five millimeter chain gun. Okay. All right. So I'll fit on the same. Everybody's way. name is in here. Miss M is going to pull from the random hat of strangers because she was not paying any attention. Doesn't know who any of you are. So, Miss M, please choose. Our winner is. Read out loud. Bearcat Josh. Bearcat Josh. Who Congratulations. Is at the end of the stream, is he? Hello, Bearcat Josh. Bearcat Josh. Hope you're still here. Got to be present to win. If not, then that sucks. If, if you're not here, we'll pick another person. Hey, you should be here. He was just here a second ago. But the three people. Bearcat Josh is not here. Ah. Uh, Bearcat Wait. Josh. You are not here. All right. No. We, will. we will pick again. Because you were warned. Stay till the end of the stream. Yep.
Yes. I will pick another random person. Another random person. Uh, this one is? Last name handy. Last name handy. Congratulations. Can you throw it away? Or? Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You guys have been awesome. This is yours, last name Andy. Again, you can, uh, in that same email for your other prize, let me know how you want this delivered. Um, do you want this to, uh, you want to stop by the, the shop and get it? Would you like us to, like me to hand deliver it to you, or do you want us to ship it to you? Please tell me in your uh, well, at least everybody's email. Being nice uh, no, so not everybody. Done. We're not done yet. Oh, we are? We're not done yet. No. Wait, so I shouldn't have found all of them? No, no, no. No, we're done with all that. These pre-release kits and all of these cards, rares and everything, are going to go to one person and one person only. And I'm doing that for a specific reason. Um, I'm going to embarrass somebody. Uh, let me get my uh, camera down from its high perch here and put it back over here where it belongs. Bork, bork. So I can bork, bork you guys. All right, so here I am. Uh, say hi, Miss M. Hi. All right. So, hello. guys, I want to let you know that uh, there's Spencer. Say hi, Spencer. Come hello. over here and say hi. Hello. Come, come I'm over. I'm the one guy that never appears on stream. <laughs> He's the guy without his face on stream. All right. So, Your shoe all right. So, first of all, um, before we before we do our shout outs, um, I am going to do one more thing. All three of these pre-release kits, all of these lands, all of this stuff is going to go to Steve. And the reason is, is because, in case you didn't notice, if you look down below, Steve donated $100 to Extra Life. That is amazing. You're going to help a lot of kids get a lot of things that they really need. Like I said, I had my first son was in the hospital there. My second son was in the hospital there. Wait, I have see? a friend. I have a friend that um, his son goes there on regular basis because of a, a, a ongoing illness that he has. Um... I, I can't say how much I love you guys. Um, this has been great. This has been awesome. Um, so, Steve, Greg, Steve, uh, this stuff is all yours. Um, I will have it with me um, until we uh, get a chance. You can send me an email if you want to meet up and get this stuff to you. You can stop by the shop and get this stuff. I am more than happy. Oh, have fun, Andy. Um, so, um, again, I want to thank Comic Book World, uh, especially Mark, Priscilla, and them over there. Um, they made all this happen. Um, he's supporting, uh, Comic Book World is supporting my stream. He's supporting my friend's stream over there at DM the Mark Knight. Um, well, hopefully this is going to raise more awareness for you guys to start doing stuff. Um, again, can't say can't say enough about them over at Comic Book World. Um, they're great people. Don't forget to su subscribe. Yeah. Well, don't forget to follow. Um, I need to get to 50 followers. Uh, when I get to 50 followers, uh, we are doing another giveaway from Comic Book World. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. Um, might be a, a mug or a... Oh, wow. Ah, there you... Yeah, Josh, you missed it, buddy. <laughs> you, were the, you were the pick. You were the, the pick, the first one. Yeah, uh, you were the first pick, and you weren't on the stream. You gotta yeah. be present to win. <laughs> well, here's what you can do. You were painting. I'm sorry, you were painting. I can't do anything about it. I set the rules on Facebook, and I have to abide by those because it is a giveaway, and Mark is gonna write it off on his taxes as a. Uh, Business commercial is a business expense. So, like I said, um, I need to get to 50 followers so I can be an official YouTube, uh, an official uh, Twitch affiliate. Affiliate. Um, yeah, you can demand a recount all you want. You can watch it. I gave you 30 seconds to get back. I even double checked. Um, I need 50 followers. Please have your friends come and follow. Um, it's important to me. It's important to Mark. It's important to Extra Life. It's important to my family. Um, as you know, everybody in this time is kind of struggling. Um, we are no different. 
Um, this whole streaming thing was my idea in the first place. Yes, it was. It was totally your idea that I had 20 years ago. And yet you never followed through. I never followed through with it. <laughs> anyway, um, this is going to help support my family um, and help it so we can keep doing stuff like this. Uh, more giveaways from Comic Book World. Keep helping them out. They're great. Um, help the family out. Like I said, please follow us on YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, follow us um, on Facebook. Uh, go to YouTube. Like, subscribe, and follow there. Hit the notification bell at the top. Don't forget to watch YouTube and see my ears. goofiness. Oh, yeah, you'll get to see Miss M draft and play. And um, it's all my goofiness. Yeah, it's all your goofiness. Well, that's once I'm done yeah. editing all okay. Um. So, uh, that being said, remember, if you'd like to donate directly to the stream, you can hit the tip jar down below. You can also go to Patreon at patreon.com slash the loophole king. Um, there will be a stream. Uh, we will be streaming tomorrow night at approximately 7 o'clock. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. And then Monday morning from 9 to noon, we'll be playing Battletech again. Uh, we're doing the campaign there. And then after that, we'll be some uh, more drafts with Miss M, some arena with Miss M. Make sure you don't call it hosting with friends. Yeah, I've, I've learned to change the stream name. Yeah. And then um, after that... Later that evening, uh, we will do something strange, probably uh, a, a new feature called uh, Watching Random Stuff with Dad, which is basically me and the kids watching random stuff on YouTube and making fun of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> who, knows where, who knows where that'll go? Um, that, Hopefully that, you don't get demonetized. That, 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 that could do all sorts of weird things yeah. for us, but we'll find out how that goes. All right? We're going to use one platform to fund another platform. Can't it be anything wrong with that, right? They're, they're all owned by the same people, right? That's no. how that works? Yeah. No. Yeah, Mystery Science Fiction Theater. Yeah. MS3, yeah. MST3000. Um, it's basically going to be us watching random crap on YouTube or wherever else I can find random stuff. Um, Twitter, Instagram, just random, random junk. And uh, we're going to be commenting and describing and making fun of stuff. And, you know, it... It will be, it'll be small child friendly. I will attempt to keep my language to a minimum. Menos the hands of fate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, you will get to hear me do all my little puppy dog voices. Uh, yeah, watching random crap with dad. Um, I that that was my nine year old that put that in there. So yes, we're going to be playing. We're gonna be, that is the name of the stream now. Watching random crap with dad. So if you guys want to see me uh, watch random crap with my kids Monday night, come do that. Uh, Tuesday, going to do some more uh, gaming, um, some world building. Uh, Tuesday night, you see me you on. You can get to see me in my face. Yes. Or uh, all of my face. Tuesday <laughs> night, we'll be over at uh, DM Mark Knight's page uh, over here on his channel uh, doing um, the D&D uh, um, &D streams. Uh, that one is A Dark God Arises. Um, Wednesday, I will not be streaming. I will not be here. I have some family matters I need to attend to. Um, uh, we had a passing in the family, so uh, Wednesday we're going to be uh, we're going to be down there taking care of that. Um, Thursday, I'll be back with more world building and map building. Um, and then um, Thursday afternoon will be more arena with Miss M or Spencer or somebody. And then uh, Friday is uh, grab bag day, where uh, if you show up, you get to pick what we're doing. So oh, first come, yeah. first serve. We'll see. We may it's play challenge some. accepted. Yes, it's challenge accepted. Uh, we'll be playing. Uh, I'll give you a list of games, um, a list of stuff that I can do, and then we will. No, you said it's up to them. Well, no, stuff that I have here. Like, I mean, I'm not. I'm not going to play Counter-Strike because I don't have Counter-Strike and I'm not putting that on, on the, my system. So, no, we'll, we'll be playing Counter-Strike. Um, um, we might play a few, like, we might play something on, like, in Guild Wars. I mean, I, I've got Guild Wars. I've got stuff. Uh, we'll we'll got figure out what we're doing. Minecraft. It, we'll, I've got Minecraft. No, I'm not doing Minecraft. No Minecraft. 8-Bit is gone. 8-Bit is dead. <laughs> no, so, it's not. It is. 8-Bit no, is dead. Not. No, it's not. It's fun. <laughs> All right.
Be so, in Minecraft, you don't have to worry about triangles. So, we'd like to thank you very much for watching the stream. Again, make sure you tune in. Follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow us here. Have your friends come and follow us. Um, we're going to have lots of fun. We're going to keep doing it every so often. Um, like I said, thank you very much. If you can donate to the stream, please do. If you can donate to Extra, uh, Extra Life, please do. And um, we will be seeing you all. Um, uh, tomorrow at 7 so tomorrow evening at 7 is our next stream uh, again thank you comic book world thank you Mark uh, thank you guys for showing up and enjoying the stream uh, tell your friends and have a great night so signing off from the blue cheese room here on the dark side uh, of the moon Whatever you uh, yeah, I'll try to remember to do that. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of moving parts. I'm still, I'm juggling a lot of stuff, and I, I keep burning my hand. Um, no, that's no thing. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, signing out from the blue cheese room here on the dark side of the moon. This has been the Loophole King with me, your host Rick and Spencer and Emily, and we thank you and have a great evening and take care of each other. Bye.